The Road to GH will reveal that when Spencer and Esme fall off a ship at CN, many believe that both have perished in the catastrophic accident. However, reality is far different from what everyone thinks. Not only do Spencer and Esme survive, but they must rely on each other to overcome the difficulties in a foreign land. The greatest loss from the accident is not just physical, but Spencer's memory. He has completely lost his past and remembers nothing of his previous life or his loved ones. In this state of amnesia, Spencer doesn't recognize who Esme truly is. Instead, he views her as his wife, the only person beside him taking care of him during this difficult time. This sudden shift is not only a tragedy for Spencer, but also a complex situation for Esme, as she becomes the only person who can influence his new life. After escaping death with Spencer, Esme quickly realizes this is a golden opportunity to fulfill her revenge. Instead of returning to Port Charles immediately, she decides to remain in the shadows, waiting for the right moment. Meanwhile, Spencer, with no memory of his past, becomes the perfect pawn in Esme's plan. Through her cunning and manipulation, Esme slowly takes advantage of Spencer's amnesia, turning him into someone completely dependent on her. Spencer trusts and loves Esme as his one and only wife, oblivious to the fact that he is being manipulated step by step. Esme's plan goes beyond personal revenge. It's a game full of schemes and cruelty. She knows that if she appears alongside Spencer too soon, she will easily be discovered and her plot exposed. Thus, Esme allows Spencer to return to Port Charles first, while she continues to pull the strings from behind the scenes, controlling his every move. Before leaving, Esme implanted ideas and commands into Spencer's mind that he doesn't even realize, making him act entirely according to her will, while believing those thoughts are his own. When Spencer sets foot back in Port Charles, his family and friends are overwhelmed with emotion. After believing that he was lost forever, his return is a grand miracle. Nicholas, Laura, Trina, and his loved ones are overjoyed, embracing Spencer, whom they had mourned for so long. However, none of them realize that Spencer is no longer the person he once was. He may look the same, but inside, Spencer has completely changed. Under Esme's hidden control, Spencer seems more distant and hard to understand. His decisions and actions exhibit strange behavior, but the loss of his past and his emotional return have clouded the suspicions of his loved ones. No one knows that despite returning, Spencer is still being controlled from afar by Esme, turning him into an unwitting pawn in her ruthless revenge plot. After gaining control over Spencer, Esme begins to execute her cruel plan of revenge. Her primary target isn't just manipulating Spencer, but also seeking revenge on Trina, whom Esme has always blamed for the collapse of everything in her life. With a cold heart and a meticulous plan, Esme knows that to hurt Trina the most, she must use Spencer, someone Trina once deeply trusted and loved. Esme has carefully crafted each step to turn Spencer into the perfect tool for her revenge. With his vague memory and no recollection of his relationship with Trina, Spencer becomes a pawn in Esme's hands, unaware that he is being controlled. Before Spencer returned to Port Charles, Esme planted false stories about Trina in his mind, making him believe that Trina was responsible for all the troubles in his past. Esme made Spencer think that Trina had betrayed him and his family, that she was untrustworthy and deserved to be punished. With a mind full of schemes and a complex revenge plan, Esme decided to secretly have Spencer approach Heather. In her plot, Esme believes that Heather is the only one who can help her complete her plan against those she thinks have harmed her and her mother. To Esme, everyone in Port Charles is an enemy. People who have deliberately manipulated and destroyed her mother's life, leading Heather to be deemed dangerous and isolated from society. Esme believes that not only is Heather a victim, but she and Spencer have also been harmed by the same people behind everything. The train accident wasn't a random event, but a malicious conspiracy to separate Spencer and Esme, pushing them away from Port Charles. In Esme's eyes, this is how the hidden enemies in Port Charles have tried to eliminate her and Spencer from their power game. After being pushed off the train, Spencer and Esme miraculously survived, but it only strengthened Esme's belief that someone was behind it all, trying to destroy everything they had. Esme believes that her mother, 
Heather could be the key to uncovering the truth and exacting revenge on those who harmed both of them. She knows that Heather has knowledge of the town's darkest secrets, and reaching out to her would help uncover vital information to complete her plan. However, Esme doesn't want this to be discovered, so she skillfully guides Spencer to approach Heather in secret. Esme convinces Spencer that everyone in Port Charles is an enemy, people who have harmed his mother, and they are the ones responsible for putting Spencer and Esme in this difficult situation. Spencer, still under Esme's manipulation, believes that meeting Heather is the only way to understand more about his past and uncover the truth behind what happened. Pulled into the story that Esme has spun, Spencer agrees to secretly approach Heather, unaware that everything is happening according to Esme's plan. She has built a scenario where Spencer believes that they are both victims of a sinister conspiracy orchestrated by the people in Port Charles.